Hey everyone, this is Russ from Retro Game Core. So today I'm going to show off a new product. It's called uh, the Skull & Co. Thumb Grips. And so this came from Amazon. It was $10. It's actually originally made for the Nintendo Switch, uh, but you can also use it, luckily, with the RG350 as well as the Retroid Pocket 2 because they have Switch-style joysticks. So let's let's get it out of the box and have a look here. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, it was only $10, bucks, so I thought it might be a fun experiment. Um, but let's let's dive into it. So there's there's actually four different grips you can do with this. So you have the skin grip, which is the thinnest one, a CQC, which is kind of the middle style, and then the FPS one, which is actually a kind of a dual grip thing. And you can actually put the CQC one on top of the FPS one to make it even fatter. I don't really do that in this video because it's ridiculous, but that is an option if you wanted that fourth option. So here's the middle one. This is the CQC one. So it has this, this nice rubberiness to the sides of it and a little bit of indentation in the center, which I think is going to feel really good on the device itself. This is the big one. So this is the FPS one. You can see here it's kind of like a double grip. So it's really going to add a lot of volume and bulk to your thumbsticks. But if that's something that you really want in terms of really fine-tuned control, that might be a good option. And this is the skin one. So the skin one is very similar to the one that's already on there, except that the sides are just grippier. Like they have like this nice thick textured rubberiness to them. And I really like it. It feels really good. And I think it's going to be really just a nice little touch uh, on each of these. Okay, so let's try with the 350M first. And you can see here, it's just, you know, your typical switch style controllers. And what you do is you flip it upside down like that. You expose the underside and then you put it on and then let them flip back down. And then you can, you know, take your time and kind of get them really adjusted and centered. And uh, it takes a minute, but you know, even the instructions say, make sure you get it on nice because you don't want it flipping off at some random time. So here's the bulk. It adds a little bit of bulk. You can see that it's not as flush with the um, with the other one. And that might cause a problem on the right stick in terms of getting in the way of your button. But you know, the way I hold my thumb is actually to the side of the stick anyway, so I've never had that issue. Um, but just overall, the grippiness is there. It feels really solid. Without even turning the device on, I can tell that it's going to control better. So let's try the next one. This is the CQC one, so the middle tier. And uh, this one in general, I, I have high hopes for this one because it has that indentation in the center. And I think that's very similar to the modern consoles, you know, like the PS4 and whatnot. And I think it's gonna look and feel really good. And so yeah, a little bit more bulk. Obviously now you can really tell that it's much bigger than the D-pad, but again, uh, when you're playing, you know, as long as you have your thumbs to the side, I think it's okay. It really depends on how you hold your device and maybe try that out before you make a purchase. So here's the Xbox One controller. You can see the same style. It has the indentation in the center. And obviously these are much higher up, um, but it's that same kind of feel. It feels very professional. It feels, it gives the RG350M, which is already a very premium product, an even better feel. So here's the PS4 controller, and you can tell here, same kind of setup. It's got that same indentation. It's got the same grippiness. I, I really like it. I think that this one is, is the winner here. Okay, so now let's try the big one, and this is the FPS Master. Out of the three grips, this was the hardest to put on. I think maybe because it's kind of like a dual grip, it's just harder to pull off that part on the bottom, and then it's hard to see what you're doing when you actually flip it down. And so it took me a few tries, but once I got it on, it was nice and sturdy. Okay, so here we are. Uh, it just looks ridiculous. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's like a little teepee or like a hamburger bun or something. It's just really high up there. But to be honest, it feels really good. Like it feels like you can put a lot of nuance in your controls with that. Um, now, whether or not you want it that high is going to be a matter of preference. For me, it's too high, uh, but maybe you would like that. So let's try the Retroid Pocket 2. I'm going to go ahead and start up the system while we're waiting. And, you know, it takes like 10 minutes for the dang thing to start up. So it's a good time to try out the grips and see how they feel. So we're starting with the thinnest one here. This is the skin one. And 
it feels good. I mean, it, it adds bulk. You know, the Retroid Pocket uh, analog stick on the left is it sticks out a lot higher than the RG350M and the P do because the, the RG350s have, you know, they're recessed in, whereas the Retroid one is not. Let's try the right analog stick, see how that works. I, I'm, I'm not feeling hopeful about it, but let me see how it goes. Yeah, so it's like barely movable. You cannot move it uh, because the rubber like sticks to the edge of the actual skin it's, or the, the device itself. So that doesn't work. And I obviously just pulled off the digital thing on accident too. So this is not gonna work. I'm just gonna put this back on. And I'm gonna forget that I even did that. Uh, it doesn't work on the right side. So you're really only looking for the Retroid Pocket 2. It's really only a feasible solution on the left side. And this is with a skin grip and you can see how much it sticks out already, but it feels good. Like it's, I like the rubberiness to it. Uh, it does make a huge disparity when it comes to your left and right analog nubs, which already had issues, you know, uh, even without any skin on it, but this really makes it more prominent. Okay, so here's the middle tier one. This is the CQC one, and it is definitely thicker, and you can feel that, you know, but it, it feels good. Like, I, I think it's going to play much better. Let me try out a game here and see how it actually plays, uh, just as a demonstration. So we'll try a DS game. Let's do Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. All right, here we go. Yeah, it feels good. Like, I, I really like it. Like, if I just don't pay attention to the fact that it's big and bulky, like, it feels really great. And like I've already kind of compared it to console controllers at this point, but that's what it feels like. It feels like a professional console controller. And it's funny that this small little $10 solution actually makes this uh, such an improvement. Now, obviously, there's drawbacks. For example, you know, you're not going to be able to travel with this as well. It's not going to fit in your pocket as easily. Uh, but, you know, right now, under our COVID kind of constraints, nobody's really traveling anyway i mean how many times are you going down the street with this thing so uh just something to consider is that at home at least it seems like a really nice solution okay and so just for laughs let's try this biggest one uh which is the fps pro one or i'm sorry fps master one and uh let's see how this feels so it's just <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like the a dilly cone or whatever at Dairy Queen. It's just crazy. Uh, but gosh, it does feel good. So it is something to think about. You know, if you, if that's really what concerns you is playing well and feeling well. I mean, these come off and on so easily that you could always just pop it on when you know you're going to play for an hour and then take it off afterwards. It's all up to you. Um, but I do think it works pretty well. Well, really, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And uh, like and subscribe if this was helpful for you. And I hope that you learned something about this. And, uh, you know, if, if you want to purchase one, go ahead and, and try the link below. I'll, I'll leave a link to the Amazon store there. Yeah, so I uh, appreciate you watching. And uh, we'll see you next time. Happy gaming.